Hey everybody, Alyssa here from Becoming Memories. Thanks for joining me for another process video. This is part of the Inspired by the Magic of Disney YouTube hop, and I was super excited to be invited to participate in this hop. And I'm going to be scrapbooking with some older supplies today, including including, excuse me, those archetiles, whatever, whatever they are called. They are ancient. They're from EK Success, I think. Excuse me. Sorry. Just adjusting the camera focus there because I noticed I was having some issues. So this is the photo. This is my son in a Star Wars hoodie that he loves and he wears all the time and he loves to invade me and attack me. And in case you weren't aware, Star Wars is now a big part of the Disney land, Disney parks, I should say, um, including building a lightsaber and all sorts of other activities. And so um, when Christina asked me to participate in the hop, she mentioned either doing a Star Wars themed or a Disney themed photo. And I actually have never been to Disney and neither have my children. So Star Wars it is. So I'm using this collection um, by Stephen Duncan from Cartabella. And I'm just flipping through now to decide for sure what my background will be and also what papers I want to include in terms of colors. My photo is fairly neutral with the exception of that green cabinet behind my son. And I thought about black and white for this photo because of that green cabinet. And in the end, I decided I preferred the color because it was much easier to see his little fist and his face. And when you get a good close up of this photo, you can actually see his eyes through the mesh of that mask he's wearing. So I'm just trimming off the branding strip. Yeah, that. <laughs> and I've decided to use this scene paper from Cartabella. And this is really interesting because normally I would, the scene paper would be like the last thing I would gravitate toward. And in this case, I just had a vision for using it and how it would come together. So this pause here is me getting up to look for the sticker sheet that goes with this collection because I've recently started storing, there it is, I've started storing my sticker collection sticker sheets in a sticker drawer separate from the collections. And this is new for me, but I'm finding that I am actually using them more because sometimes you need a little bit of something to go with the collection you're working with. And I wouldn't necessarily go to another collection and pull out a sticker sheet, but if it's in my sticker drawer, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know if that makes any sense to anyone's brain but mine, <laughs> but somehow stickers being with stickers is working for me. So, and since I have a, a inventory app on my phone where I'm keeping track of all of my inventory, sadly, <laughs> I lost my whole inventory. I had 1500 items entered and I didn't know that there was a separate backup button that I was supposed to hit and I didn't. And then I dropped my phone in the washer. Uh, yeah, so there's those archetiles, architect, what? Architecture, architecture tiles. They're not architecture like the buildings, they're architecture. There we go. So anyhow, my inventory is deleted. I'm going to have to re-enter it all and you better believe I will be backing up now. <laughs> but yeah, so having the inventory really does help um, storing things separately because I can generally, once it's complete, I can pull up the collection I'm working with and immediately see what embellishments I own. This embellishment pack is miscellany from Rocket Age from October afternoon. I've had it for ages and I don't think I've actually used it at all so it was perfect because I don't have any of the additional embellishments from Space Age. I don't really know why I think because when I bought this collection it was brand new and at the time I need, knew I needed the paper but the budget was tight so I just went with the collection pack and I think I got maybe one other sticker of my favorite favorite sheets which actually looking the back on it now, it would not be the same sheet that I would order a second of today, but you know, hey, I'm entitled to change my opinion, right? You do that too, please tell me you do. Someone else does, right? Um, so I've just trimmed the white border off of that sticker and what I'm doing is I'm working on covering up that space up in the corner where it says Moon Base Alpha 3 because that doesn't seem very Star Wars-y to me. Now, I'll be honest, this sticker that I'm getting ready to put over it is probably not any more Star Wars <laughs> than Moon Base Alpha 3. 
but it does seem to fit the overall theme a little better, at least in my opinion. So there you go. <laughs> so this, um, I'm cutting this piece of pattern paper, which is the same paper that I matted my photo with just to cover up that little part. And I apologize that beeping in the background that you can probably hear is my dishwasher finishing its cycle. <laughs> Those things always pick the most lovely times. So I have this chipboard planet here and I'm considering doing some mixed media on it, but I'll be honest, I just wasn't feeling it. And I didn't really feel like getting out the mists or the inks and making a mess. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's okay. Although ironically, I do kind of get the mists out and make a mess here shortly. <laughs> but again, with being entitled to change my opinion. So the title here is, I'm using these stickers, they are called Meadow, and they're from American Crafts, obviously, because they're stickers, duh, Alyssa. Um, <laughs> I've had them for a really long time, I cannot remember what collection they came from, it was probably somewhere in the vicinity of 2012, and... My title is going to be Dark Vader, and yes, I know it is Darth with a TH, not a K, but this is the way that my four-year-old son pronounces it, and we have corrected him over and over and over and over, but he still says Dark Vader, and so I thought it's really cute. I need to document that because he just turned five, and one of these days he's going to get it correct, and then, and then the cuteness will, I mean, he'll still be cute, but there's just something about those little mispronunciations that they do when they're when they're young and it's almost a little bit sad when they finally start correcting themselves. So I'm working on my angle here. I didn't like the angle that that ended up at. Um, I thought I kind of wanted it angled, but when I put the alphabet on there, I thought it just kind of looked a little strange. So I straightened out the photo and now I'm straightening out the alphabet. This alphabet in particular is not very forgiving when it comes to having everything straight. I do have plenty of alphabets where it seems like you can be a little bit off and it still looks okay. This is not that. <laughs> this is not one of those. Still crooked. <laughs> I, I didn't have a ruler handy because somehow my rulers always walk off, um, I think with the assistance of little hands and feet. And so I just took that package there of enamel dots, oversized enamel dots, and lined it up with the bottom of my paper and then lined it, lined the top of it up with the letters because it was easier. That like landscape, fire, dirt, whatever, whatever surface of the planet, whatever that's supposed to be there on the background at the bottom is um, not straight. And so it was throwing off my visualization of where my title went. So putting something there that I knew was straight to the bottom of the page helped me kind of line up my title. So now I'm looking to do a little bit more embellishing, but the problem I'm running into very quickly is that everything here that I have is very astronaut themed. And my page is obviously Star Wars themed. So I went in doubt, used some gold Heidi Shine and sprinkle some gold spatters all over. That seemed sort of like a spacey thing to do. <laughs> if I had had silver, I probably would have used that because stars are silver, right? Everyone knows stars are silver, um, but I didn't. So I guess in this instance, stars are gold and so are planets because I said so. <laughs> um, and I, it's funny because this particular child, I am kind of in a stage, unfortunately or fortunately or whatever, of saying because I told you so because he's very um, asking why and a kind of arguing about everything in this particular stage. This is uh, some mist in Heidi's Swap Patina. This is one of her color shines. I love the color patina. And one of the things I love about these color shines, if you have any, if you don't have any, it might be too late to find them now. So hopefully I'm not discouraging you. But I find that they show up on a dark background much better than like a Tattered Angels spray. So I've added some spatters of the patina there as well. And it matched the color of that globe. Earth, not globe, earth quite well. <laughs> Ignore me, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, and then now I'm using some of those architectures. And you know what's so funny when I got these? I was like, what am I going to use these for? But they were literally like pennies. I think I paid 
like five cents per package at the Goodwill outlet. And I was like, I have to get them. Like I just do. So here's the deal. Um, right about this point, my camera cut out. And so all I did after this really was add some brads and I added a few gold spatters on top of those architecture um, tiles. And that's it. So here are some close-ups. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out all of the talented ladies participating. I will link them up in the description section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, Alyssa here from Becoming Memory.